Hey everyone, welcome back to Da Vinci Academy. Have you ever wondered why a baby's grip is so strong? Or why some people can wiggle their ears? Today, we're exploring evolutionary leftovers. Let's get started. Number 12. Palmaris Longest Muscle Did you know some people have a muscle in their forearm that others don't? The Palmaris Longest Muscle was once important for climbing and gripping, but in modern humans, it's mostly redundant. Interestingly, about 14% of people are born without this muscle, and it's often used in tendon graft surgeries without affecting the patient's strength or function. Number 11. Paranasal Sinuses Ever wonder why you get sinus infections or feel pressure in your face? Your paranasal sinuses are hollow spaces in the skull that once helped our ancestors with a sense of smell, or perhaps to lighten the weight of the skull. Nowadays, their function is not fully understood, but they can become a source of discomfort when infected or blocked, reminding us of our evolutionary history. Number 10. Palmer Grasp Reflex Ever notice how a baby can tightly grip your finger? This strong reflex is more than just cute. The Palmer Grasp Reflex is inherited from our primate ancestors who needed to cling to their mother's fur for safety. While it's no longer essential for survival, this reflex is still present in newborns. Number 9. Darwin's Tubercle Ever noticed a small bump on the rim of your ear? That's Darwin's Tubercle. This small bump is thought to be a vestige of a larger ear structure that might have helped our ancestors detect sounds better. While it's now just a curious feature, it's a connection to our evolutionary history. Number 8. The plantaris muscle. Did you know some people have a muscle in their leg that's practically useless? The plantaris muscle was once essential for our tree-dwelling ancestors, helping them grip with their feet. Today, it's so unnecessary that surgeons sometimes remove it for reconstructive surgery elsewhere in the body, with no noticeable loss of function. Number 7. Third Island Did you know you have a tiny vestigial third island? The plica semilinaris is a small fold of tissue in the corner of your eye. A remnant of a fully functional third island that some animals, like birds and reptiles, still use to protect and moisten their eyes. In humans, this structure doesn't do much, but it's a fascinating reminder of our shared ancestry with other species. Number 6. The Appendix Ever wonder why you have an appendix? This tiny organ can cause big problems, but what's its real purpose? The appendix is a leftover from when our ancestors had a diet rich in cellulose, found in leaves and raw plants. Back then, it helped digest tough plant material. In modern humans, while it doesn't play a big role in digestion, some studies suggest it may have a function in the immune system and maintaining gut flora. Number 5. Wisdom Teeth Why do we have extra teeth that usually end up getting removed? Wisdom teeth are leftovers from a time when early humans had larger jaws and needed extra molars to grind down raw plants and tough meat. Today, with softer diets and smaller jaws, wisdom teeth are more trouble than they're worth. They often need to be removed because they don't fit properly in our mouths. Number 4. Tailbone Did you know you still have a tail? Well, kind of. The coccyx, or tailbone, is a remnant of a tail that our distant ancestors used for balance and even communication. In modern humans, it doesn't serve much purpose, but it's still there as a reminder of our tail path. Number 3. Goosebumps Ever notice goosebumps when you're cold or scared? This odd reaction is a leftover from our furry ancestors. For them, goosebumps made their hair stand on end making them appear larger to scare off predators or helping to trap heat for warmth. Nowadays, without thick body hair, goosebumps are just a weird leftover response with no real benefit. Number 2. Body Hair Why do humans still have body hair, even though it's not very useful? Body hair is a leftover from our ancestors, who had thick fur to protect them from the elements. Today, most of our body hair doesn't serve a major function, except on the head, where it provides warmth and protection. Number 1. Ear Wiggle Can you wiggle your ears? 
Auricular muscles are remnants from when our ancestors could move their ears to hear better, just like some animals today. Most humans have lost this ability, but some can still wiggle their ears, showing our evolutionary past. And there you have it, 12 fascinating evolutionary leftovers that connect us to our ancient ancestors. If you enjoyed learning about these quirky traits, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to DaVinci Academy. Thanks for watching and stay curious.